Hey guys, Bill here. Just a little warning, if you're afraid of monsters, you may not want to watch this episode because we're going to be looking at some really monstrous real or fakes. We have a weird picture of a monster called Goatman to examine, a video claiming to show a monster in the sewers of London, and a spoof about the Bloody Mary legend. And all this doesn't include the big story of the week, so we better get moving. The big story this week has to do with this picture, a picture that many of you have sent in. It claims to be the very first photo that captured the monster known as Slender Man. But is this picture for real? Or are we just looking at another big skinny fake? Why don't we cook up some creepy pasta and see what we can find out? If you actually sit down and do some internet searches on the subject, it doesn't take long to learn a lot about Slenderman. He is most commonly described as very tall and thin, with unnaturally long tentacle-like arms which he can extend to intimidate or capture prey. In most stories, his face is white and featureless. Nobody knows where Slenderman lives, but he always seems to appear from out of a forest or trees. What he wants is not clear, but it seems his favorite activity is kidnapping children. So what's going on with this picture then? Did somebody actually capture a monster on camera? Or did they cook it up in Photoshop? Well, according to my research team, the Chewy Piranhas, it's a bit of an enigma. On the one hand, many sources say it was cooked up in Photoshop for an online forum focused on horror stories. But on the other hand, there are no versions of this photo that do not show Slender Man in the picture. We actually hit a lot of brick walls on this one, but thanks to our network of experts, we were able to come up with this, the official answer. Now, if you watch this series, you know it's against the rules for me to tell you what's in here until you tell me what's going on up there, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake, okay? Now, if you're a little bit too shy to do that, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back up here and play the rest of the video. As a third option, you can always just vote right up here. You ready? and go. Okay, did you do it? Good, because in just a few minutes, I'm gonna show you what's in the official envelope here. But first, I wanna show you some other very interesting things that came in. First sent in by Oliver Prowse, Richard Elliott, and Lorenzo Sadi. This is said to be a real picture showing the hideous monster known as Goatman. While we did not find out if Goatman is real, we did learn that this picture isn't. It was created by Lou Delport for an art exhibit called Hearsay. It was an exhibit about, what else? Urban legends. In this video, first sent in by Daisy Murray, Aaron Graybill, and Will Morales, closed circuit video shows us a monster living in the sewers of London. Guys, this is a very scary looking monster, but truth be told, it's fake. It was created by a utilities company in England as an April Fool's joke and used to educate people about what not to flush down their toilets. In this video sent in by D'Angelo Martinez, we are confronted with what is claimed to be a real-life Godzilla caught on home video. D'Angelo, I don't know how to tell you this, but Godzilla is a fictional creature created for Japanese cinema many years ago. Any claims to the contrary are, and do I need to say it? So, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny! And now, my friends, we move on to something a little new here on the Real or Fake series, a spoof. That's right, we're going to take a break from the serious business of finding out what's real or fake for a little lighthearted entertainment from my good friends Peter Butler and Stuart Carpenter at the Bubblegum Monsters channel right here on YouTube. What they're going to be covering today is the Bloody Mary legend. Now, if you don't know what the Bloody Mary legend is, it's that thing where you stand in front of a mirror and then you, um, well, just watch, you'll get it. Thank you. 
do this. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Hello, Stuart. What do you reckon? What are you doing? I was just going through the pop box for our next uh, sketch. I was trying to find something scary. Well, go and play with your props. Oh, all right. I thought I asked you to leave me alone. I know, but I just wanted your opinion on this. Can't you see I'm busy? Go away. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. (laughs) Oh, bloody hell! I asked you to leave me alone. And before you ask, no, that costume isn't scary either. I just thought, you know, go for a different angle, like... Come on, Lee. Hey, thanks, guys. That was pretty funny. But you did scare me with that little jump scare on the end. But hey, you know what's interesting? Apparently, the Bloody Mary thing got started a long time ago where young women were told to walk backwards up a set of stairs in a darkened house while looking into a handheld mirror. Now, it was said that if they did this, they would either see the picture of their future husband or the Grim Reaper. If they saw the Grim Reaper, it meant they were going to die before they got married. Speaking of the Grim Reaper, why don't we get back to this before we uh, all pass on to the other side? (laughs) It's been a while, huh? Anyway, if you recall, we're talking about Slender Man here. This is photo that claims to show Slender Man real. Okay, here we go. Here's the answer. The photo claiming to show Slender Man has been examined by experts in the field of photography and paranormal activities. Based on evidence uncovered by researchers, it has been determined that the photo is 100% and are you ready for this? It might surprise you. 100% fake. The Slender Man figure was added to the photo later with photo editing software. Wow. Well, hey, you know what? At least we got it settled. I always wondered about that picture. But then again, that leads me to my next question, which is, if the photo is a fake, does that mean Slender Man himself is a fake? As it turns out, to find out whether Slender Man is real or not, you need to look no further than this man right here. His name is Eric Knudsen. Eric has publicly acknowledged that he created Slender Man for an online Photoshop contest way back in 2009. The contest challenged users to edit everyday photographs to appear paranormal. Eric posted two black and white photos under the username Victor Surge. He took some pictures of kids on a playground and added a strange figure in the background. Then he himself gave the character its name, Slenderman. There is no word if Eric won the Photoshop contest, but he did win the lottery in a way. There is now a major motion picture in the works about Slender Man. Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video. I want to thank all you guys for sending in those fantastic photos and videos. Also want to thank the Chewy Piranhas for all their excellent work as usual. And a special thanks goes out to Peter and Stuart at Bubblegum Monsters channel here on YouTube. I'm going to leave a link to their channel up here and in the description box so you can go over and check out more of their funny videos. See you next time.